I hate unboxing videos. So we're not gonna do one. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I took my front yard from this to this. And we're gonna do that using a couple new lighting products from Eufy, the first being this thing. This is their permanent outdoor lighting. Think Christmas lights, you never have to take down. Now, I actually had the previous version of this on the house, and the reason you never saw a video on it was because I couldn't recommend it. There was a big problem with it, but they fixed that problem with a new one. And the solution was this little thing right there. I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. Now we're also gonna be installing two things to tackle some landscape lighting. The first being this guy, these are pathway lights, and then also some spotlights to spotlight my fence and my trees. Now all of these tie in with the app and they can do a lot of cool stuff, which we'll go over later on in the video. I can do different themes for different holidays. I can have it just white for every day of the year. And then I can also have this set up to tie in with my home security system. So everything can go on full bright at night to let the bad guys know I'm watching. But right now, let's get into the install. At the end of the video, I'll go over any pros and cons I ran into so you can make an informed decision for yourself if these are something you wanna spend your hard-earned money on. Now, the first thing we're gonna get installed is these guys. I love Christmas lights and I hate setting them up and I really hate taking them down. So hopefully this will be the last time I have to set up Christmas lights because I can, with the flick of a button, turn on Christmas. So let's start putting these things up. You're gonna wanna start by installing these in the app. And all three of these things run on the exact same platform, so I'm gonna show you how to install it in the app right now. So to set it up, you're gonna set it up in the Eufy app. If you haven't already downloaded the Eufy app, there are two Eufy apps to download. Um, there's Eufy Home and Eufy Security. You wanna download Eufy Home for the lights. Eufy Home does the security side of things. So we're gonna start with this thing, and what you're gonna do, I'm using the spotlights as an example because they all set up exactly the same. We've got this little controller box and power. I'm gonna come over here plug in the power. When I do that, all my lights should start blinking and flashing. From here, we're gonna go into the app. So now everything you do is gonna be set up through your phone. You're gonna go to the upper right corner of the app and press the little plus sign and hit add device. Now with everything plugged in, our lights are on here, hold the button until everything blinks and then hit next. This will connect the two here and it's already located the outdoor lights. We're gonna add those. Now we're gonna tell it that it's gonna be in the front yard. These are going to be, we'll call them trees. I might change what they're pointing at, but I think it's gonna be pointed at my big tree. And you can change the name. I'm just gonna change the name here to Spotlight. And in our situation, we wanna configure this on Wi-Fi. You can configure it on Bluetooth and then you have to be standing right next to it to work. We wanna configure it on Wi-Fi at my house. So we do have to put in our credentials for our passwords and all that. Uh, my network name is Hal. Leave a comment down below if you know where I got that network name from. And right now it's queuing me that there is an update. With all the devices that I've put on here, I've needed to do an update. That does take a little bit of time. So let's run the update. And while it's running the update, we're gonna go up front and get ready to install these things in the ground and on the house. Now in the app, it'll actually walk you through the entire installation process, but I'm gonna show you how we did it. So I started from the opposite end of the house from where our power supply was on so I could make sure I had all the spacing correct. And then I cleaned everything with rubbing alcohol. Once the rubbing alcohol was clean, I applied each light. Now each light has a 3M adhesive pad on it that'll hold it to the house, but then the light is held in place permanently with a screw. It comes with just enough screws for each light, so make sure you don't drop any of these screws, or if you do, make sure you find it. If you're the kind of person that wants to claim that you've never dropped a screw from a ladder, I've got a trophy for you. I then continued the lights around the front of my house where I proceeded to drop more screws on the ground and had to hunt for them so I didn't back them over, and also so I had enough screws to get all of the lights in place. The last step for the house lighting is getting power to it. Now you may have power outside. In my case, I decided to run the power from inside my garage by punching a hole out just below my roof line. Don't worry, I will be caulking over that hole and throwing some paint on it a little bit later. On the inside, we plug in the transformer box and the controller. That wiring mess is a tomorrow me problem. But now let's tackle the landscape light. Now, before you start just running wires and digging stuff in, you wanna make sure that you have the correct runs. So what I've done is I've run the wire for the landscape lights down, and I know I'm gonna to have to run to this little piece right here to hook in one of my lights. And I'm down here because I know I'm gonna be replacing this light. So that light's gonna come out, and this light's gonna go right in in its place. Now I, what I wanna do is I wanna work my way up so I don't wind up running out of wire on my way up to where the plug is. And then we're just gonna work our way up towards the house and towards where our power connection is. And when you tighten these down, there's a little gasket. Make sure that everything is seated in there completely down and really tighten this guy down. 
because that's what's gonna make that nice waterproof connection. You wanna make sure these are totally sealed so you don't wind up with a leak later on. And as you can see here, I have all the wires sitting above the ground. Um, I haven't buried them in yet. We are going to, and you should as well, but right now we're just getting everything set up. One thing I am noticing, the spikes on these are made out of metal. Spikes in the ones I'm pulling out are made out of plastic and they're breaking. So I've finished setting up the pathway lights and now I'm working on putting these guys in. They go in the exact same way. You just kind of figure out your run and stake them in the ground. But the one thing I noticed, and I mentioned it when I was setting up the pathway lights, was that on the pathway lights, the stake portions were metal. These ones, the stake portions are plastic. Um, and I'm not a big fan of plastic because every time I try to move, and sometimes you do have to move your landscape lighting, if they are plastic, they snap. Now I didn't have enough length in my cords to plug them all the way up to the house, so I did use a waterproof connection box that I picked up. If you need something like this, I will have a link to it down below, but this one was really nice because I can fit everything, including a bus bar inside the box and keep everything watertight so the sprinklers in the rain don't get it. With everything installed, it just had to get dark so I can play around with the new lights. Now these new lights function pretty much exactly the same as the previous set of lights that I had on the house, which were also made by Eufy. But what I didn't have before was all of the landscape lighting, the pathway lighting, and the spotlights on my trees. And these lights made a huge difference in the appearance of my front yard. Just a reminder, this is what it looked like before. Compared to what it looks like now huge difference. Now what's really neat about these lights is the ability to not just do white light like I've got here, but also the different color schemes and color arrangements you can do. You can set it up for every holiday and you can set it up so they automatically come on. You don't have to remember to turn them on for the holidays. And you can also kind of custom tweak your own lights. You can change how bright or dim each lighting set is to really make it kind of curtailed for what you like. This is the Halloween setup right now. I have the pathway lights extremely dim and then I have all the rest of the lights a little bit brighter to kind of tune it exactly how I wanted it. Now another mode I set up ties in with my Eufy security system and my security lights and I'm going to show you how that works right now. So what I have it set up to do is when somebody walks into the detection zone, which is about halfway up my walkway here, my cameras detect that I've walked onto the property and what it'll do now is it'll turn all my lights from its normal color to white. And I even set up another mode where past midnight, because I assume you're up to no good if you're on my property, it'll actually turn white and then turn all my other lights red and blue to really hopefully scare off the intruder. Okay, so now that we've got them set up on the front of the house and I've played with them a bunch, let me go over the pros and cons. We're gonna start with the pros, then we're gonna go over the cons, and then there's just some stuff, some factors you're gonna have to weigh out to decide if this is something you wanna spend your hard-earned money on. Now, for starters, I hate Christmas lights. I don't like setting them up. I don't like taking them down. I don't like extension cords. I know, bah humbug, but it's a pain. What I do like is a pretty house though. So what I like about these lights is when it is not Christmas, Halloween, New Year's, 4th of July, whatever, I can have nice white ambient light on my house and it looks good. And then I can automatically set it up in the app to kick on Christmas lights when I want it to, or Hanukkah lights if that's your jam, Halloween, I'm filming this thing right before Halloween, so right now it's got the Halloween jive going on. I really like that. It makes it really simple and easy. Now something I touched on early on in the video that I want to address a little bit more here is I had the previous version of these lights on my house, and I really liked those too, until they all started falling off one by one. And pretty much every one of them fell off. To make this video, I actually pulled down all my old lights. And the couple ones that were held on by the clips had let go already by the adhesive. So if I hadn't had the clips, they would have completely fallen off the house. These ones with those little holes that I showed at the beginning of the video allows you to screw every single light to your house, which means you can put a lot of tension on the wire so nothing hangs. You do a much neater install, and these are definitely permanent. Screws are not gonna back out, even if the adhesive starts to go. So that I definitely like. Now talking about the other lights, the pathway lights and the spotlights, those are all very simple installs as well. No really more difficult than if you ever installed regular landscape lighting, you're gonna run the power cord, you're gonna put your stuff in place, and then you're gonna move on. It's a very simple install. Another nice thing with these lights over traditional low voltage Malibu lights is low voltage Malibu lights, I know that's a brand name, but that style of lights, usually those are not dimmable. They're on or they're off. So if you find your lights are way too bright, you're out of luck. If they're too dim, you're out of luck. These, they're infinitely dimmable. You can get a brighter or dimmer depending upon what kind of motif you want. And 
Related to that, um, I had showed it at the video, you can also have it automatically kick up or kick down your brightness or do all sorts of fancy stuff. I've set up some smart modes in mine because I also have a home security system and cameras through the Eufy lineup and I have them all paired to work together. So right now, during my normal lighting routine, it is dim ambient light. When somebody comes up my driveway, say it's me, all my lights get a little bit brighter so I don't trip over stuff in my driveway. Now, I'm going to assume that if you're in my driveway after midnight, you're probably there to steal the catalytic converter off my Prius. And I don't want that. So I've made another program where my house lights go bright and all my landscape lights flash red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Kind of letting the person know I'm watching you and the police are on their way. And that's something I've had a lot of fun with is setting up all the little custom profiles and getting it tweaked so it works with my security system as well. But what is really nice about all those settings, it is a set it and forget it. Once you get everything dialed the way you want it, you can pretty much put your phone away and never touch them again if you don't want to. On the flip side, like I like to work in my driveway and on with those brights full bright, it is enough that I can work in my driveway at night. So I can go into my phone, one click, and I have all my lights on in my front yard, my driveway is illuminated. So now that we've talked about a lot of the pros and the things I'm liking about this system, let's talk about some of the cons. And some of these aren't necessarily cons, they're just things that you need to consider if this is something that you're gonna do on your house. Now, the first thing is Wi-Fi. Where I am right now, according to my phone's Wi-Fi, my phone is connected to my home network, how like we talked about before, I go between five and four bars. My boxes, my little receiver boxes, are down here, right next to me. And if I go into the Eufy app here, it shows that I have almost no connection. If I come in here, it says, no, the Wi-Fi signal is too weak. Now you can get inexpensive repeaters for your Wi-Fi network, but if I have other devices that can pick up my Wi-Fi much further away, I just means that these things, their antennas aren't that great, and they really should be better if they're gonna be being used outside of the home. Another thing to consider is when you're setting up lighting, Malibu lighting, you run your line, and then you put your lights exactly where you want them on the line. There's no slack in the line. These ones, there is no way to do that, and they're really, I don't know if there's a way around it, because you gotta get signal through these and multiple channels and whatnot, but it means if you've got, say, 20 feet of line and you only wanna put the lights 15 feet apart, you got an extra five feet of wire you gotta figure out what to do with, wrap it around the base, bury it, or do something. So you're gonna have that issue with the wiring. The other issue I ran into with the wiring was I wanted to put my receivers, or the Wi-Fi receivers, the controller boxes, whatever you wanna call them, all the way up at my house. I can't do that. There's only so much distance between that little box and the first light on those lines. So I was stuck with the landscape lighting, not the home lighting, the landscape lighting, putting it all the way up near the front of my yard, which gave me that distance, which caused the Wi-Fi issue. Another little nitpicky thing I ran into was the spotlights on the brightest setting are not very bright, whereas the pathway brights on the brightest setting are like the sun. They are extremely bright. So if you set everything at 100%, all those lights are going to be bright. Your spotlights are not going to be that bright. They're actually going to be relatively dim comparison-wise. I wish they were a little bit brighter. So now having talked about all the pros and cons, what's my final result? What do I think of these things? And am I happy with them? Yes, I'm, I'm very happy with them. Um, despite some of the little things with Wi-Fi, I've worked around by moving repeaters around. I really like these things. I like that they address the issue that was being had before with the lights of having them pop off the house by putting little screw mounts on every single light. Now I did on my previous set of lights 3D print a whole ton of brackets and I'm never gonna use them. Um, but I will have a link if you ran into that problem and you have the old ones, I'll have a link for those suckers down below. Now I will have links to all these lights down in the description below and also in the pinned comment if you wanna do a job like this on your house. Now if you have any questions about this, how I did it, how I ran power up there or any of that stuff, please leave a comment or a question down below. I'm always happy to answer those questions in the comment section. If this video helped you out, please give it a great big thumbs up. Do all that subscribe, comment, jazz stuff that we YouTubers always beg you for. And of course, thanks for watching.